alive? What happened to you? You just vanished, man. Where were you? What's going on here? Hey, Matt. It's Jake. He's alive. Yeah, I can see that. You just keep on surprising me. You should go and talk to the others. They'll be happy to see you. So, we're trapped. I know. We've got no way out. I know. Jake, you made it. What happened to you? I knew you'd make it. So, what do you think of our new place? We've got a nice campfire, we managed to bring in enough supplies for a few days, and there's only three ways in and three ways out. But uh, we barricaded one of them because it was, uh, unsafe. Pfft, unsafe? Man, we barely opened the door and gas started leaking. These are the biological labs. What did you expect? what I expect? I'd expect you to find a safe room that is not right next to some crazy-ass lab with toxic gas. That's what I'd expect. Has anyone briefed Jake on the situation? Yeah, 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 I'll take care of it. Jake, look, you ready for this? Alright, there it is. We're fucked. That was it. Now he's briefed. We've encountered hostile armed personnel on our way to the safe room. I take it you saw the cadavers? Which means this armed response that is supposed to disable us has already reached this level and probably the other wings. But that's not the worst part. They noticed I hacked the ciphers and their response was to change the core access cipher codes. Uh, so basically we're stuck on this wing. Well these labs can take us to the south wing, but as you guys know it's definitely a no-go. But even if we reach the south wing, then what? Well, as I was telling Ben earlier, the mainframe servers for this level were located there. So? So if they change the cipher codes, that's where we'll find them. Hold on, hold on, hold on. So these motherfuckers changed the codes of the flying soda cans that opened the big-ass doors so we can't access the core in the other wings, right? Right. And what you're saying is, the code is somewhere in the servers that are located in the south wing that is probably overrun by the soldiers sent here to kill us. And that can right now only be accessed by going through that lab filled with toxic gas. Right. Well, that's just fucking beautiful. Fucking beautiful. Wait, Jake has a gas mask. Oh, you do? Yeah, he picked it up in the maintenance area. You still have it, right, Jake? But he only has one. Well, neither I or Junior is going to put on that mask and go in there. What the fuck, man? How can you decide what I do or I don't do without asking me? You want to go in the motherfucking labs? No. You shut the fuck up. But the lab access is under quarantine. And, well... Well, what? The only way to actually enter the labs is with a yellow access card that we don't have. Oh, right, yeah, yellow access. I read about that somewhere. It's the... Quarantine override card, I know. And where would that key card be? I don't know. Maybe in the offices. So what's our first step, then? All right, let's see. We've got this location secured, so that's good. Our first step is to scout this wing for survivors and supplies try to find that special key card to get access to the labs. Then we go to the south wing, get access to the server to get the new codes, and we should be good. But there's only one gas mask, and Ben, you're the only one who can access the server. Well, not the only one. Jake here managed to upload the cipher guidance system just fine, and he also figured out how to reboot the MGPS on his own. Seems he knows his way around technology. And I could guide him through on the radio too. All right, Ben, what do you know about the North Wing? Um, not much, unfortunately. I haven't been able to dig up anything beyond this level on the network. I don't really know why my access isn't flexible. What do you mean? Well, you remember I told you I managed to plug myself into the main security network earlier? That's how I've been able to get all the info I've gotten so far. But it's strange. I only get bits of data. Like, it's like I don't have full access. It's, I mean, it says I have full access, but I don't. It could take a while to try and dig up everything about the North Wing. What do you want to know, anyway? Because the only way up on this level is through the North Wing. I want to know what to expect there. All right, then I'll just keep digging. All right, Takeo and Eric still haven't returned. They should be bringing the rest of the supplies from the safe room on the first level. They're going to need someone to open the core access for them when they get there. I'm guessing you had to close the cycle to get in, Jake, so they won't be able to get through. Man, do you have any idea how annoying it was to run the auto cycle on this thing? I had to turn it on and run like hell, and then roll under the door right before it closed, just so that the access could be open on the other side. Brian, Junior, since you two can't be separated, apparently, you go ahead to the core access and wait for Takeo and Eric. Okay, you got it, but there's no way I'm pulling that stunt again. We'll just wait for them at the core access. All right, Jake, you go on to the offices of this wing. It's by the core access. Try and see if anyone's still alive over there. And try to locate the key card. 
Also, be careful. There might be some armed personnel still around. We already tried to talk to them, and they wouldn't talk back. So we're not going to try any harder. First, get the card, then access the labs, then access the south wing, get the cipher codes, and then we can all get to the north wing and get out of here. Piece of cake. Everything all right? for hours. I mean, that's what they said. I wouldn't know. Terry found me and Alan barricaded in a bathroom while they were going through the residential area. I have been stuck with this jerk for so long that I think if they have been like 10 minutes late, well, I'm probably the only one they would have been rescuing. Hey, Jay, you've seen the train like station. They it connects with the train in the maintenance area. Liz, I wasn't the only one working on the cover here. I had a few contacts here and there in this place. We were making progress on finding out exactly what was going on down here. One of my colleagues contacted me before all of this started. He said he had some data for me. If I recall correctly, he worked on this floor. That data could be something very important. It might help us figure out a few things. So bring it to me, and I'll get you a nice silencer for your pistol. Deal? All right, he said the data will be hidden inside of a book, some cheesy vampire book, so that no one would want to open it. Bring me that book. I saw you back there all drunk and dizzy. You know, you should drink with moderation. I don't know how much you had, but it was probably too much for your own good. I hope you didn't mind me carrying you away from there. I just wasn't going to leave you there lying on the floor in the middle of the corridor now, was I? Anyway, I'm glad to see that you're better. You know, we are getting mighty close to having a full deck of cards now. Thanks to you, I can do a lot of fun activities with my little friends. So yeah, no time to rest. Let's get the missing cards before my beard starts to grow too long. So here's the deal. You bring me ten more cards, and I'll give you my crossbow. That's right. You heard me right. My favorite. 
and most effective tool for hunting rats. So, you want to take your chance to win my crossbow, huh? It's of my own design. Well, not really. I found it. But I improved it a little. And the bolts, too. They are special. So yeah, you just bring me those ten cards and this beauty is all yours. I don't get it. This place has science laboratories, advanced research facilities, and the entire personnel who works here also lives here. But why do they have a penitentiary facility? That's just really dangerous. It's placing a prison in the middle of a city. It's pretty simple, really. Penitentiary facilities get financial support from the government. But I thought prisons are government facilities. <laughs> You're dreaming, boy. Prisons are just like any other business. They get cheap working labor, and they get tax cuts, and they get paid to run the place. Prisons have been getting private for decades now. There's over 250 correctional facilities that are owned by private companies in the United States alone. And most of them, if not all of them, are running over capacity. That means they get more inmates than they can handle. So anytime the state gets a new prison to send their dregs of society to, they're happy to pay. But I thought this place is supposed to be like top secret. How can it be secret if thousands of inmates see it and then get sent back into society? That's the thing. This facility has been built and designed to keep inmates that have been sentenced in prison for life. We don't do thieves or rapists here. Only the craziest sons of bitches. Only people that have been sentenced to life and won't be getting out. Wow! I didn't know that. Who do you think does our laundry or cleans up this place? Who do you think works in the maintenance area? Under supervision, of course. But basically, this place just found the best way to maintain itself by getting inmates to do all the dirty work without paying them. So yeah, it's a pretty smart move. Modern day slavery. Yeah, but they do need to pay the guards and the people keeping an eye on them. Yeah, but I'm not employed to watch just the inmates, you see. My job is to supervise the general security of this place. All the security teams on every level are divided into squads. And even though the squads sometimes shift between the wings, they never work on another level than the one they're originally assigned to. Only a few individuals are allowed to actually go to multiple levels. I wouldn't be surprised if all the people that worked here weren't even aware that there's a prison down here at all. All they see is a big underground storage thing with many floors, but they never get to actually visit the whole place. They just get to work, go to sleep, and basically live there. Which is why the residential area is a lot more cozy than the rest of this facility. Yeah, it must have been nice before, but it was damn creepy when we passed through on our way here. That's because it's empty and in ruins right now. I can't even imagine what happened down there. Hundreds of people. Just... <sighs> Alright, we need to stay focused, mate. You just keep digging those files, see if you find anything useful, alright? Will do, Terry. Thanks for the chat. Helps, uh, it helps take the edge off, you know? It's all good, mate.
found it, good job. This will sure come in handy. I'll be sure to send it to the right people once we get out of here. Thanks. Here, as promised, this will probably help you if you don't want to draw attention to yourself. Found the yellow key card. Good job. You know that crossbow I use is practical, but it's not very easy to arm. And and rats are quick. It's never a good idea to crawl around with a loaded crossbow on your back, I know that. I don't want to, like, put a bolt in my butt. <laughs> That'd be ridiculous, but the thing is, as soon as I spot the rats, they start running, and the time it takes to arm the damn thing, the rats are already gone. Well, I still manage to get Yeah, I can see I'm boring you, huh? Oh, hi. Name's Lloyd. I'm a chef. Well, not really. I'm a ration distributor, but yeah, chef sounds more fancy. <laughs>